Morning. So, little update for you. Nessa the 90 is no more on the channel. Um, if you watched the last video I did on the uh, Land Rover, you'll know I was getting a bit fed up with it, to be honest. I think um, my love of Land Rovers has, has gone on from when I was, you know, in my 20s. I've had, that was the 11th one I've had. Um, and I, I, when I got that one, I kind of fell in love with the romance of having an older one again. And, uh, you know, I used to do a bit of off-roading and stuff. It never materialised, so using it as a daily driver became a chore. 25, 27 to the gallon, 60 mile an hour, being deaf, uncomfortable, cold. I lost my mojo with it. And uh, with using Heather's car for work a couple of days, because she works from home all the time now, the Kia. Um, yeah, it just became a luxury I didn't need, really. So... That was one of the reasons for getting the Seat. I'm just going to now run a cheap car for work. I only work 12, 13 miles from home. And I think I'll rotate the, you know, the cheap car on a um, six monthly basis, maybe. We'll see what comes up. Use the Kia for a couple of days and, and we'll just go with that. And then obviously we've got Agatha as the main vehicle that's, you know, a luxury that you don't need I guess so we'll continue to keep that one obviously as the main star of the channel and we'll just rotate between using the Kia and a another car and that's really it half the reason for me adding other stuff to the channel as well really we've still got Lee's cars and we've still got all the car shows we'll go to but as I've said before we'll add other stuff so that gets me on to what I did this weekend and why I couldn't really film the Land Rover going um, it was literally, this weekend the weather's terrible, Saturday the 12th, which was yesterday, I'm filming this on the Sunday, it was a dryish day for most of the day, but I'd got so much to do with not going camping, I, uh, I thought, well, I'll clean the Land Rover up, stick it on Facebook Marketplace, because it's free, and put that it's only got a month's MOT left, and come and have a drive in it, before the tax runs out, because I was going to saw on it, I wasn't going to tax it, so anybody who wanted to, you know, potentially look at it had got a few weeks before I was going to not tax it, and then it was going to be, you know, you can't really drive it anywhere other than up and down my street. Put it on Facebook Marketplace, I put 16, 17 photos, um, all, you know, close-ups, ex explaining all the rough parts and stuff like that, and put, I've got a month's MOT, but I'll put a full full year on it, However, if you're interested in seeing it with a month's MOT, we can be a bit flexible on the price. It was online for about five minutes and I got a message. This guy from Stoke-on-Trent, been after one for ages, don't care about the MOT, don't care about the condition, it looks okay, can I come and look? And I said, well, you can, but it'll be dark by the time you get here. Don't care. So he came over and uh, we bartered a little on the price. I put it up for six and a half grand with a full MOT and I said offers around six as it is. He came in with a cheeky bid of five and a half, which I said no. And we agreed on five, seven, fifty. I kind of wanted a little bit more, but when you've got someone stood at your door with cash and it's gone instantly, I'm not going to argue over 250 quid. Um... Also, you just never know. I'm sure it would have passed the MOT with, with minimal work, but you just never know with an old vehicle what's going to need doing. So I just let it go. Uh, so purchase price of five grand, sell for five, seven fifty. But I obviously had the clutch done, the timing belt done and associated work. Probably owed me just around six grand. So did I lose? Well, I lost 250 quid, but I used it for nearly 18 months. So... I'm happy with that. So that's the story on the Land Rover. There is a bit of footage of it driving off in the dark and a few photo slides of when I cleaned it up yesterday. In other news then, uh, quickly drove up to G&E Refinishers who painted the Allegro yesterday as well and gave him the spare boot that I'd got, which he's going to paint for me. Um, it's a vermilion red one at the minute. He's going to you know, sand it all down and paint it the right colour because, I don't know if you know, but the boot on Agatha is terrible. It's been filled. It's rusty. So that'll be getting changed. Also, 
there's a reason why I'm sat in a brand new transit van. Um, racking, I had a bit of racking in the garage. Um, managed to get some more racking from work. They were having a clear out and it's really good quality racking. So I swapped my racking in the garage um, and in the shed for this better quality stuff. So I was doing that yesterday. So that was half the reason I never filmed anything really because making the most of the weather window. Um, so yeah, that was what I was up to all day yesterday. Um, my pressure washer packed up. I've had it for 25 years, a Karcher one, really good one. So we're now gonna go and have a drive to Tool Station and buy a new one. Um, so that's it really, catch up. Like I say, there will be more coming on the channel. Um, Still got some work to do on Agatha, which I'm hoping to do next weekend, fingers crossed. I was going to have a go today, but to be honest, I was out yesterday all day and I'm absolutely knackered. So as much as I'm going to tidy my garage now, I'll show you my racking. I'll insert the footage of the, um, the Land Rover. And that's about my lot today. I'm going to have a lazy day today. I'm absolutely knackered. So yeah, thanks for watching this. And like I say, I'll catch you with more car content later and obviously more other content, Agatha and anything now. So <laughs> see you later. These new transit vans, though, they're very car-like. This is the small one, not the little tiny one. Is it called the... Ke the little tiny one's the Connect, I think. This is the Custom. So sort of size of a Volkswagen T5. They're very, very posh. Work have finally let me borrow this to bring the rack in home. Um... But yeah, it's just like, a, basically, like a big Ford Focus. Um, you get all the all the flashy dash. Very nice. I'll show you it quickly from the outside. Very, very windy. Apologies if you can't hear me. But yeah, that's it from the outside. Very nice. Lovely to drive. Think of that. So we have a space where Nessa used to live now. I spent ages yesterday trying to clear the oil stains off the road. Hopefully <laughs> they'll eventually disperse. So this is the racking in my garden shed now. See down the bottom there, spare Allegro wheels. And huh, you never know when you'll need one, right? A spare Maestro turbo diesel engine, I've still got that. I really need to get rid of that. So yeah, really good quality racking, heavy duty shelves. <clears throat> Happy with that. So there you can see my racking in the uh, car garage. That's just got my camping stuff on. There's poor Agatha still there on the uh, axle stands. Haven't done anything more on her since me and Lee did the uh, brakes on the rear. I will get back on it. 
and I've got another set of that racking there. <laughs> I did want to try and put it there. This is my old racking, the flimsy stuff, but unfortunately that fits just in that gap between the wall pillar and the other wall pillar. And that one's about an inch too long. It just won't fit in, so that's annoying. So I've kept the spare set. I may get rid of this yellow cabinet and put another set there, but I, I don't know yet. I shall have to decide. So there you go. Agatha. But yeah, oh, let me quickly show you the boot, what I was on about. Uh, close up. So you can see here, that's been filled. That was a massive hole there, that was. Um, and then underneath, let's just rotate the camera, hang on. If you can see all along the, the boot crease there, can you see the boot has just gone all along there. There's nothing more to do with that one. So we'll be changing that. What I do need to get is these chrome strips are held on by some like plastic clips behind. There's holes in the, the boot and you push a plastic clip in and then this just clips onto it. I've got to try and find some more of them to put the uh, put on the other boot. I've got to change the door lock as well. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. So there we go. Still got them bloody spare Allegro doors. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. If anybody wants any doors, they're off a of Series 3. Uh, send me a message. And a spare Maestro wheel, wheel. Uh, Hook cap. There we go. We'll get there and I'm very tired. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and uh, seeing as the video was mainly about this. There we go, look. Nessa's original number plate to be kept for posterity. This is my old pressure washer. Unfortunately, seen better days. It's, I've had this 20 odd years. The, the switch knackered ages ago, so it's always been permanently wired. But uh, I think it's finally had it. However, I've just noticed the new one we bought, the lance will fit, so I'm going to salvage that. You just never know, do you? You just never know. There we go. New toy. It's definitely not as powerful as my old one was. Uh, the K3 is not the not the smallest one but this was on offer at tool station got 60 quid off it this weekend so it was worth obviously the next one up something like 250 quid but you get the patio cleaning bit in with it and the extension perfectly fine for cleaning cars okay so we'll wrap it up there um apologies if the footage is a bit cack i'm on a mobile phone i just couldn't be bothered to get the camera out so there you go. Uh, we'll catch you on another one. See you later. Ta-da!